Hey guys, I wanted to look at this. Uh, just I've been studying this, the two resurrections. So something I just wanted to look at here as we go through a couple verses. It just showing us that at the end of time, there's two resurrections that are going to happen. One at the beginning of the thousand years, and then after the thousand years is when there's going to be a second one. And these are general resurrection that everybody's going to be brought up in. Okay, so. Let's look at Daniel 12, 2. Daniel 12, 2, it says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. When I first read that verse, I kind of looked like it was run one resurrection happening and to, for two groups of people. You know what I mean? Like you, everybody was coming up, and the good are going to the good side, the bad are going to the bad side. But that's not at all what the Bible tells us because, you know, we've learned th uh, through Bible study that you don't look at one verse. You have to compare all the scriptures and it'll, it'll show you, you know, what it means. So if you're if something looks a certain way, then we got to compare all the scriptures to it and then it will expound to us uh, what the truth is. So let's take a look at some other verses. Oh, let's look at first yeah let's look at first Thessalonians first Thess, Thessalonians 4:16 and it says for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first okay that's at the second coming the dead rise first that are in Christ and then the next verse and then we which are alive and remain. So everybody else that's on the earth that's going to be that's going to be saved. Okay, are going to be caught up together with them. That's the dead people that rose up in the resurrection. We're going to be caught up with them into the clouds. The clouds are the angels. And we're going to meet the Lord in the air. Because remember at the second coming the angels come to get us. Jesus stays in the air. We, we we go to meet him. He does not come down here. So that's awesome. And then, and then, so shall we ever be with the Lord. From that point forward, throughout eternity, we'll always be with Jesus and God the Father and the angels. So that is amazing. I love that verse. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's look at John chapter 5. 29 and it says and they shall come forth they that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation so once again it it's kind of looks like it's speaking about one but it notice how it does say two resurrections it's a resurrection of life and then there's a resurrection of damnation okay so it gives us another clue. Let's continue reading some of these. Let's look at... You know what? What does John 5.29 say? Oh, we just read that. But notice verse 28, you guys. It says, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. Now remember, uh, we just read that that it's going to be the voice of the archangel. You know, Michael the archangel, that's Jesus. It's the voice of the Son of God. So that's kind of cool. Gives us another hint. Uh, what else? Let's look at... Let's look at Revelation 20, verses 4 and 4 through 6. Okay, and it says, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. These are the righteous people that make it to heaven. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. Now notice this, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years the righteous reign with Christ for a thousand years in heaven. 
okay but then something happens after the thousand years notice this and then it says but the rest of the dead so notice how they're still dead people when the righteous are in heaven for a thousand years with Christ there are still dead people that are on the earth these are the wicked people okay but the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were finished so the thousand years had to be completed this is the no notice this you guys this is the first resurrection blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on such the second death has no power but they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years Okay, so notice that it gives us a bunch of clues there. It's letting us know that there is a first resurrection. And the ones that are in this first resurrection are going to reign with Christ a thousand years in heaven. But during that time, there's going to be dead people on the earth that dead have not come up in a resurrection yet. Okay, until the thousand years are finished. Now that, that lets us know right there that there's two resurrections. One for the good, one for the evil. Isn't that just, that's so cool? It's just so plainly right there, you know, and I never, I never realized that before. Because, like you say, sometimes you can read a Bible verse, and it, it, it kind of looks like it's saying one thing, but you have to compare other scriptures to it, and then it, it will expound to you more and more information. You know, that, that's how God reveals it to us as we study the Bible. So I never knew that before. I don't know, maybe a lot of people don't know that. I have no idea. I know that I never used to know that. So there is a first resurrection. So if there's a first resurrection, obviously there's 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 a second resurrection. Okay, because notice it mentions it mentions second death. Now if there's a second death, it means there's a first death. We all know the first death is the death that we die when we're human. We die that 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 first time. That's the first death. You guys, the second death. What, from which I've studied, that's eternal. You're dead forever. You never come back. You, you cease to exist. You're gone. You don't burn up for in torment for all eternity. You're dead forever. It's like you never were born. And I'll put a video up of that one because that was incredible when I found that out because I never knew that was like that either. I thought when you were bad, you burned up for all eternity and screamed in pain. That's what I had been taught. You know, that's what the, a lot of the churches teach, but it, it's a lie. It's a lie, and it's, it's a terrible thing, so. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Now, just a couple kind of bonus verses. Let's look at, let's look at 2 Thess 1, verses 7 through 9. And it says, And to you who are troubled, rest with us. When the Lord Jesus shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels in flaming fire. Notice this, guys. When Jesus reveals himself to the earth for the first time, all the angels are going to be with him. And it's going to be so bright. And there's going to be so much heat and fire that's going to pour upon the earth. It's going to burn everything up. Okay, this, this is why... All the wicked are going to be burned up by the glory of Jesus and the angels. Okay? In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God. You guys see that? Taking vengeance on them that do not know God the Father. So we, we, there is a, we can know God the Father. It's not a mystery at all. And that obey not God the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. See, it's not just about believing. We got to obey it because if we believe it, we will we will make the changes in our life. We will, we will let Christ come inside of us and, and and change us, and then we will obey the gospel. So it's more than just thinking like, oh, you know, I believe, I believe. I mean, we will put forth the effort to make the changes too. That's a part of belief. It's not just thinking in your mind like, oh, I believe, I believe. It's, it's more than that. Belief is, is action. And that's something that I'm struggling with a lot because I have a lot of sin in my life.
I'm just now learning these things in my life. Uh, and it's, it's incredible how God is just pouring out this knowledge to me right now. I love it. And it's funny, it's been here the whole time in the Bible. But you, you got to read it. You got to have that desire to read it, to compare it, to study it. And, and God will work with you. You know, he will show it to you. But, but if you never open up the Bible, you're never going to know these things. We can't rely on pastors and religious leaders and church members to tell us the things of God because most of them just don't know. They lie to us. Okay, so everlasting... And notice this, you guys. To them that do not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished. Notice this. They're going to be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. It's everlasting destruction. You guys, it's going to destroy the wicked. And the destruction is everlasting. There's no coming back from it. So anybody that tells you that hell is an eternal burning place that burns the wicked up for all eternity, they're a liar. And there's no light or there's no truth in those people. So let's look at 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 8. And it says, And then shall the wicked, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. There it is again. It's going to be so much heat and fire with the brightness of his coming. Guys, it's going to be so hot that the elements around us in the sky is going to be on, the heavens are going to be on fire, and the elements are going to melt with fervent heat. That's how hot it's going to be. It's going to melt everything. And one of my favorite ones, you guys, let's look at 1 Corinthians 15, and it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We shall not all die, but we shall all be changed. That's talking about being given the new body to be able to withstand heaven and the presence of God and not be burned up. Because if, if we weren't changed, you guys, we would burn up forever, actually. If God wanted it to be like that, we would burn forever if he didn't give us a new body. I mean, we, he has to fireproof our bodies so that we're able to withstand the heat and the fire and the glory that, that surrounds God and his son and the angels. So I think that's it. We will, well, let's leave it at this last. Let's look at Revelation 20, verse 14 and 15. It says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the the lake of fire you see that even death and hell the grave itself is going to be cast into the lake of fire and it's going to be devoured up and destroyed it's going to be burned up and it'll never it'll never be just like that's why god tells us that in heaven there's going to be no more death because it's going to be burned up and destroyed it won't exist anymore all the wicked will be dead gone and one more thing that proves that, you guys, let's look at Malachi 4. If we look at verse 1, it says, Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Guys, the root nor branch there, the way, I, the way I'm getting it, that is Satan and all the wicked people, the angels and the wicked humans that follow Satan. Okay, that, That's who's going to be burned up. Satan is the root. He's the cause of it all. Okay. And let's look at one more. Let's look at verse 3, Malachi 4, 3. And it says, And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. Now, does, are they burning forever and ever and all eternity in torment? No. They're going to be ashes. They're going to be reduced to ash. And they're going to be gone forever. Under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, saith 
the Lord of Hosts. So that was, you know, that was pretty neat. I just wanted to go through those two resurrections and uh, just kind of cool because, like I said, I never knew anything about these things. So, so there you have it. Let's continue to study these things, and I hope that was helpful. And make some comments, and let's study these things together. Uh, thank you so much, and God bless.